guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and today we have Hey Tiger Lily, the scent of the month for March 2022. So I will sit down and tell you what I think of it, but on a monthly or bi-monthly basis as I get the different scents of the month, I just want to show you guys how the same room can be slightly changed just to keep it current. So I have pretty much the exact same objects that were up here last month, except I added a picture and I changed the uh, arrangement just enough to freshen it up here. And then to go with the Hey Tiger Lily, I really wanted to do that beautiful coral. And we have a few more plants that have been making their way out. So tying everything in with this scent. And I was just feeling like I needed that particular color. Um, I freshened up over here a little bit, so I've got my pressed tin. I have a different lamp base, but the exact same lamp um, shade. And over here, my dear, he's just got a little bit more of the succulent variety there in front of him. And uh, I think it might be a different basket and just, you know, the usual, but I was pulling out the color that's in my rug that's in the dining room. and trying to add a little bit more happiness for early spring where we still have some snow, but we are just longing for the sunshine. So again, hey, Tiger Lily. And next I will tell you what I think of the scent. So when we're actually talking about the scent, hey, Tiger Lily, I am really liking it on first sniff. Top notes are sugared mandarin, dewy greens, and watery melon. The mid notes are wild tiger lily, white rose, and luminous jasmine. And the base notes are blonde woods and creamy musk. So here we have that. And I didn't get the warmer because I'm really not a gnome person, but is he not cute? Gnome for Easter, which I'm assuming is a play on words of home for Easter. And he is $49.50. And after the sale month, he would be $55 again if they still have him in stock. But back to the Hey Tiger Lily, let's see what I think. This is definitely floral, but it's also very fruity. And we got it yesterday and I did do a little bit of warming because I tend to do better talking about a scent if I've had a little bit of time to think about it. So I find it a very pleasant balance of these notes that they're talking about here. You definitely get the mandarin, you get the greens, you get the melon, but I don't really know what melon. It's not, it's not really a cantaloupe or a watermelon distinctively, so maybe it's more like a honeydew, but it's melony something. And then I definitely get the tiger lily, the rose, and the jasmine. Because there is sort of a perfumey, bloomy thing going on here. And I don't really get the woods and the musk, except that it is a balanced scent. So how would this compare to some other scents that have at least similar notes? Uh, one from last year, which is far more fruity, but has the mandarin note, was the mandarin and mango nectar. And this thing's just like a peach ring fruit bomb kind of a deal. So this one is far sweeter, but it does share a mandarin note with this, the Hey Tiger Lily. But I think the one that is the most comparable, it's definitely softer, is our new Paradise Petals. And this is a new release. And there is a definite citrus note similarity between these two. This is much lighter. This definitely has more of the white blooms. It's more ethereal, it's sweeter, it's more gentle. This has a little bit more of like a roundedness and, and a little bit more earthiness, probably that, that tiger lily, which day lilies, which is basically a tiger lily is a fancy day lily or maybe a not fancy day lily, the one that you just throw out in the weeds and you don't have to worry about it. There is almost this saffron-like powdery quality to the stamens that are inside of it. So. I really, really like this. I think it's going to throw medium strength and it shares some similarities with this and just that note of mandarin it shares with last year's mandarin and mango nectar. So I think that this is going to be a very enjoyable fruity floral. I don't get all floral when we melted a little bit of it last night. Obviously I need to take more time to, to really think about it and put it in several places, but my initial reaction was a lot of that mandarin zest, a lot of that mandarin juice, and then a beautiful floral that goes with it and just a little bit of groundedness from the other notes. And I think you're going to like, and I love the name, Hey Tiger Lily. Have a good day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.